Governor Hickenlooper is calling on Capitol Hill to investigate the Trump administration's separation policy. This is a Colorado congressman airs his frustrations after touring the ICE facility in Aurora. Denver 7's Mark Stewart spoke with Mike Kaufman. Denver 7 talking to U.S. Representative Mike Hoffman after he left the ICE detention center in Aurora. He says 42 adults are inside, still separated from their children, their locations unknown. Small progress from the 50 families that were separated a week ago. They could not tell me when the remaining 42 uh, would be uh, reunited with their families. You know, I was disappointed they would not let me talk to any of the detainees, uh, any of the 42 uh, detainees, uh, despite my request. The Republican and his Democratic colleagues <laughs> have been visiting the federal facilities in recent weeks as a policy separating undocumented immigrants and their children was enforced. And now, after the public outcry has been reversed. The process is so fragmented between different agencies that I can never get a complete answer from what agency without them going to another agency. So it's what so is Kaufman going to do? He says he's in touch with the administration. If the process to reunite families doesn't go faster, he'd like a point person to take over, possibly from the military. I would like to see a, a military officer, a, a flag officer, uh, preferably from the Marine Corps, given my own background, that can cut through the bureaucratic red tape from all these different agencies uh, to make sure that as soon as possible, these uh, parents are reuni reunited with their children. And late today, we got this letter from Representative Coffin's office asking the White House to appoint a single person to head up those efforts to reunite the families. Right now, there are about three weeks left to do so under the order from that judge in California. I have reached out to ICE regional headquarters to answer some of these questions that Coffin has, and so far, no response. We will